Well, I've just shown you how to sh uh, sharpen a cabinet scraper. So that'll show you now how to use it. So this timber here, I've put it through my sander to 100 grit. And now, because this is bespoke furniture, I want to get a really good finish. So what I could do, is I could just sand it. But what I've found is a scraper is a really quick way to take away uh, the scratches in the timber. So if you look at this under the light, if I was to hold it up to the light, you can see loads of scratches, like this. And so what you want to do is kind of get rid of them fairly quickly. Um, and I will use some paper after this, because what you find is that the scraper does leave small um, marks. But it is a quick way to remove the 100 grit scratches, and then we can finish it off uh, with some paper after that. So you want to hold the scraper, at, it's kind of like, probably maybe 10 degrees forward. You want a bit, a bit of a bend in it. So you got your thumbs. How I get you to see this? You got your thumbs like this, and you push. And what you're doing is you're trying to find the sharp bit on the scraper. Now I think I may have upside down. There we go, right? Because it only sharp on one side. So can you see that these uh, shavings are starting to come off? And what I'm going to do is over the whole piece, I'm going to scrape. Now you can see that that's really sharp. You got a really nice shaving coming off. And if I do that over the whole piece, it's taking away the top layer that scratches. So when I come to sand with a 180 grit paper, or actually I might go over it with 120, then I'm taking away all these scratches which will really ruin the finish. So that's pretty good. And then I hold it up to the lip. And you can't see, see this, but when I look I've taken away the scratches. I wonder if you can see that. Because I haven't scraped here and the colour is different slightly. So I'm going to turn it around in my vise. And what I'm using this is the tail stock on my Showbear workbench. And these benches are fantastic, they're really sturdy, and they're really well made. They are expensive, but they're worth the money if you're doing a lot of work. And use the bench dogs to hold things in place. So I'm just quickly stand, uh, scraping the entire surface. So that's probably enough. It's fairly quick, as you can see. And it's, it's much more satisfying then sanding everything. Sanding will be easier if you have got the same amount of skill, but to, to uh, master this makes the finishing process much more enjoyable. You feel like a craftsman if you're using a scraper. And so what I'll show you, so I've got 180 grit paper here. If I can find my sanding block. There he is. Actually, I'm going to go down to 120. Right, so this shouldn't take too long now that I've scraped. The re reason you have to sand as well is that the scraper does leave small marks where you start to stop. And if you have to put oil straight on, it wouldn't leak on the center. I find when I'm sanding, if I do a wee bit more at the edges, it's about to finish. You can see I'm almost like doing it twice at the edges. I'll we'll cover the whole piece with that. Then check it in the light, see how it looks. Pretty good. <coughs> Looks like I might have missed a wee bit 
when I was scraping right at the bottom here. But I'll, I'm not going to put in the vice, just so I can get these bits in better. And to get a good finish, you have to have a bit of patience because if you try and go up to the grip too quickly, you'll find that marks and scratches that should have been taken out with your grip before um, it's still there and then you can't get them out with the finer grips. So how does that look? Okay, that's good. That's good. So that was one point. I'm going to use 180 new. And then that should be smooth enough, I think. Yeah, it's pretty good.